not going to be shooting 50 cals if you're watching TV. Radio listeners, go to infowars.com forward slash show. We just went out there real quick and shot. Magnum was hitting bullseye at about 400 yards and his first shots. Well, John, it's daytime and these armor piercing tracers. U.S. Army issue won't be as spectacular as nighttime, but uh, you want to shoot a couple of these? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, we'll uh, do that next. A little over a year ago. See, I've lost Both about 60 pounds. Torpedoes away. That's the whole point. I'm shooting a tree about 200 yards away right there doing that. It's too dry to fire tracers. Look at that, man. Rapid fire in the 50. Can't help. My type of gun. John, you just got done shooting the 50 over there. We're going to put that on the TV show next week. But right now, you've uh, got that 223 M4 Scorpion. You ready to try it out? Well, yeah, I don't even know it's here. Compared to the 50 caliber, this feels like a feather. That's right. You just handheld and shot the uh, heavy 50 over there. Right. So, so this is a shot on my iPhone. My favorite guns. They, All right, that's good. Thing, he just came on the show. He'd been on a few times. We thought, hey, let's drive out to Steiner's Ranch, the real Steiner Ranch. Not their housing development, but their real 12,000-acre ranch outside town. And it uh, reminds me, I need to take the kids out there and go do some more shooting. But uh, John McAfee is our guest Exciting to think of him running for president just to inject the ideas of privacy, to use as a bully pulpit to expose what the NSA is doing. Remember, we've gone from just eight, nine years ago, them denying the NSA was spying on anybody, to admitting total surveillance, which is completely illegal. The toll-free number to join us on air, your chance to talk to John McAfee, is 800-259-9231. 1-800-259-9231. Now, I'm normally very lenient about plugs and other issues and going down rabbit trails. We're talking about John McAfee running for president and any of the issues he covers, which is a wide open field, but it better be on those subjects. John McAfee, M-C-A-F-E-E, McAfee16.com, running for El Presidente, or he's at least got one foot in the race right now. Guard against the imposters of pretended patriotism. George Washington, a nice George Washington quote up there on the site. So entrepreneur, scientist, engineer, John McAvee, looks like he's getting ready to plunge into the 2016 race. Before I go any further and then ask you that question I just got to a moment ago, I'm going to plug our, our sponsorship, what funds us. We're going to go right back to you. Uh, but then I want to ask you just briefly, well, we'll get there in a moment. Uh, Deep Cleanse is back in. It had been out for three months. Uh, Liver Shield had been out for three months. Super high quality concentrated herbs known to detoxify the body. Also zeolites and other things known to drag out toxins. Deep cleanse will be available for another week or so at current sales rates. Uh, I can tell you liver cleanse, if you want to do the liver cleanse, I'm going to hold back some bottles for myself. Uh, you do it, uh, the six day long cleanse with the oxy powder uh, and with the apple cider vinegar and then some of the, some of the uh, Epsom salts in caplets on the last day with olive oil and it, you just flush out all these stones out of your gallbladder. I didn't believe it till I did it over a year ago. It, it's just incredible. So InfoWarsLife.com, Deep Cleanse is back uh, in stock. Uh, it, it, we want to keep this stuff in stock all the time. Uh, but you never know what folks are going to be into. So people are really into Deep Cleanse and into Liver Cleanse. So if you want to get those, now is the time. And your purchase supports the broadcast, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. And then finally, Knockout is back. And I talked about with Anthony in the last hour. We ought to take that video and post it on the site so folks get a breakdown. But it's got uh, GA, BA, gamma, ambiotic acid that helps trigger everything and give it the enzymes it needs to activate is what I've been told. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm leaf extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan, and melatonin. And it's the same cost as getting valerian root or melatonin with similar dosages by itself. I mean, it's got the dose that's in other stuff. Three milligrams of melatonin, 30 milligrams of valerian root, stuff like that. 
100 milligrams of L-theanine, 75 of hops flour, lemon balm, 45, valerian root, as I mentioned, uh, chamomile flour extract, 18 milligrams. Um, it'll knock you out and, and, you'll, and, in my experience, get real sleep but not be groggy in the morning because sleeping pills just artificially knock you out. They don't put you in the true deep sleep. Well, this, in my experience, does InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. And we did sell out of the Hillary Clinton shirt, uh, Hillary Clinton for prison, 2016. But the good news is the next truck gets here in two days, made here in America. So we're keeping it up for sale. For all intents and purposes, it is sold out, but it's really not. You just won't get it in three, four days. You'll get it like in a week. Uh, so again, uh, Hillary for prison t-shirt in all sizes. On the back, it says legalize freedom. Great way to spark conversations. Okay, so how do we battle domestication? Uh, how do we battle not being made dependent on the system? And then that's a good question. What is your take on Benghazi, the Hillary emails, and what she's been up to? Well, uh, first, I'd like to add, I'd like to say one thing. If I do decide to run, I, I am going to run to win. And I know that sounds very odd from uh, someone like me, but but keep in mind, I've been in, in technology, uh, a leader of technology for uh, over 40 years, ever since the computer was first invented. 40% uh, 40, 40 of every corporate employee is involved in one or other aspect of computer technology. Uh, I went to DEF CON last month, which is the, um, uh, the annual hacker, the high technology crowd. I was swamped wherever I went, where people wanting autographs, people wanting uh, pictures with me. People begging me to run. Yeah, you, you, you've got a household name. You've got the name cred. Right. And and oddly enough, there there are probably 45 million people out there uh, that, you know, many of them who have never voted before. I guarantee you that if I run, uh, they will get out and vote for me. Uh, it sounds insane, but. Uh, if no, you're I saying to, you're a serious candidate. It's a serious candidate to see you could win. If I choose, if I choose to run, I will definitely win. There is no question. Wow. Well, break it down for us uh, more because I've been interrupting. We've been going back and forth. You're good at that. But you got the floor. Tell us what you're planning to do, what you'd like to do if you run for president. OK, uh, my uh, my campaign manager has said that he will break both of my kneecaps if I say anything specific, Alex. So um, we're going to have to talk in, in, in generalities here. Um, again, as I said uh, before, my first priority is, is to is to return privacy to the individual it's it's being stolen by the government it's being stolen by uh by by hackers because the government has made it easy for hackers to do so uh that's that's my first priority and and beyond that it's it's to bring us all back to a state of freedom uh we do not need a father figure as a government uh if you look at the number of government employees uh compared to uh, the the number of uh, American plain citizens is it's reaching you know uh, an astronomically large percentage of and and we are spending trillions of dollars for what government should be be created by people for people uh, to build roads create schools uh, to do those and, and a national defense uh, government should not be in, inside our bedrooms looking at what we're doing when we're alone with our wives. They should not be on the telephone listening to every, every word that we speak. They should not be following us around. They should not be trying to find out who our friends are and what our friends are doing. Uh, th this, is, this is really the, the, the fundamental problem. Um, to get back to a state where every man, woman, uh, or at least every adult is responsible for themselves and takes responsibility for their own actions rather than going, well, you know, it's easier if, if the government takes care of me, so I'll give up this bit of privacy or that bit of freedom. Um, again, the, the, the specifics I cannot tell you at this point because I, I need both of my kneecaps to, to, to walk, Alex. I understand, and that's normal to then start launching your actual platform uh, after you've announced. You, you committed some thought crimes there. I want to talk about Caitlyn Jenner, political correctness, all the rest of it. I mean, I know you're a classical liberal and that you're live and let live, but don't tell you how to live. In public schools nationwide, he or she is off the questionnaires. You don't say boy or girl, father or mother, husband or wife, because the very existence of that is hurtful to someone. That sounds like a Kurt Vonnegut satire book from the 50s about, well, the, about the left going into tyranny. It doesn't sound like reality, but you just said the right to not know what's happening with you and your wife in your bedroom. 
How dare you use the word wife? That's hurtful. Do you want to apologize? Well, no, actually, I don't. And and here's here's something even funnier, Alex. I I, I write articles for a, a number of different publications. Actually, International Business Times is one of them. Um, and two weeks ago, I I wrote an article where I uh, I I've, I got hold of the the Ashley Madison dump. That's the you know the uh, the the cheating sex site. That, well, I'm glad uh, you raised that. Yeah, what do you think of that? Uh, well, you know, I mean, that uh, I, I don't judge uh, the morals of anyone, but it had some very interesting emails in it. However, I've, I ascertained that it was an inside job and done by a woman, and I gave the reasons for why it had to be a woman. Uh, the, they, there were two manifestos that were included in the dump. Uh, among the statements in the manifestos were, men are cheating dirtbags. Uh, men are scumbags. Um, and, and lots of things. The, the most telling one for me was um, the, uh, the, the quote hacker, the alleged hacker, uh, included a statement saying, this man, and he gave the man's name, address, and everything, actually spitefully joined Ashley Madison the day after Valentine's Day. Well, I included that as a, as a probable female statement. I mean, I don't know about you, but you know, I, I have to have my friends remind me when Valentine's Day is coming up, and I do the same for them when I find out about it. Yeah, exactly. Men aren't looking for sex to be spiteful. That's what women do. Right, and so, and and so, especially to say spitefully after Valentine's. Men are looking Day. for sex for sex. Let me just give women a little newsflash. Well, you know, you can imagine some dude in a bar going, "Oh, my wife cheated on me the day after Valentine's Day." You know, <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about, dude? Uh, it, it would be an insane thing. Yet I got so much flack. Uh, so many uh, articles were written saying that I was a misogynist, um, you know, out of touch with the world. And, but yet, you, you know, for a fact that that men do not generally say men are cheating dirtbags. No, I, I, mean, I can pretty much maybe, say that's guaranteed are, a woman or someone trying right. to frame women. Hang on, hang on a second. Marley, hush. I'm sorry. That's my dog. Hey, can we meet the dog? Can we meet the dog? You want to see the dog? Absolutely. We got a fourth hour coming up today, John, that's hosted by my crew. I want to invite you to stay on longer. Yeah, here's, uh, where's Marley? There he is. Come on. That's a nice dog. A pit bull right here. They're uh, all over my face now. Well, so. you like high caliber guns. You like semi-autos. You like uh, nice dogs. And you like privacy. I think you'd, you know what? People can say, oh, you're a racy guy. You escape police, all the rest of it. He's too wild to be president. Well, at least you wear who you are on your sleeve. You're not creeping around like these no, phonies. You know, I, I mean, you like full-grown women, not 12-year-old pages at the White House. That, that's correct. And, and, and the, you know, there's no secret about my life. I, I've, I have, in fact, uh, I wrote an article for International Business Times the, the day after the Office of Program Management was hacked, and they said that every top-secret clearance uh, a folder had been taken. Well, I, I had a top secret clearance while I worked for Lockheed. So I wrote, I wrote an article and they included everything I'd ever done um, because they ask strange questions and every question. Have you ever taken drugs? Yes. Uh, what kind? Every kind. Uh, often, as often as I could. Um, and, and, and so I just listed all the things I've done because I don't care. You can judge me any way that you want, but I don't know anyone who's perfect, Alex. And the government, uh, of course, hired you because why you were honest? I guess, in fact, and I was shocked when I got the clearance. I thought, good Lord, they will never hire me because I was I was totally honest about everything that I had done when they asked me these questions. I go, well, that's out the window. In two weeks, I got a top secret clearance. So maybe maybe the government said, well, this guy's pretty honest. You know, the, It's going to be hard for someone to blackmail him because they told us everything he'd done. So I, I don't see any sense in trying to hide parts of my life. I mean, and, and I, I've done some things which which, you know, some people might judge as improper. Um, but I, w I will not deny it. Uh, you know, I What about this whole day. police thing? Because at first it was, uh, what really happened with the police recently? Because then I heard that they were actually your friends, or what happened? Uh, which, uh, which police raid? In Belize? Well, no, we know what happened with that. Uh, cyber security legend John McAfee was arrested over the weekend on charges of DWI and handgun possession. What happened there? Right, okay, well, the handgun possession, I, I, I always carry a gun. Um, and, and sure, it's not, you should it's, be able to. And it's not illegal in the state to carry a gun. Uh, I had just that morning got a prescription for Xanax. I've never taken Xanax before. 
I got 